Hey guys, and welcome to this hair routine. Well, what what I use for my hair. And as you notice, I've had my hair cut. If you don't follow me on Twitter or on Instagram, you won't know I've had my hair cut. But I've had my hair cut, for obvious. Um, I was in Glasgow on Tuesday this week, and I was just applying my blusher, and these two people come up to me and was like, oh, do you want your hair cut? I'm like, oh, of course. So it was free because it was for a student and where I got it done was at James Dunn and I normally go to James Dunn anyway but in Aberdeen so I got my hair done in Glasgow. It's a kind of a short bob, it's kind of like if you ever watch Hollyoaks it's kind of like Cindy's hair so it's kind of like long hair so like let me just kind of show you it. It's kind of long hair and then it's short at the back. I don't know if you better see that, I don't know. But yeah, so that is my new hairdo. And I thought with a new hairdo, I might as well show you what I use in my hair. Like shampoos and conditioners sort of thing. So I'm just going to start. Um, first of all, what I use is a John Frieda Radiant Red. Now, I've always used these since I dyed my hair red. So, God, I've used this for at least four months now. Um, and they're just a shampoo and conditioner. Um, and obviously I'll leave links below on where you can purchase this, etc. Um, and how much they are. Um, but yeah, that's just the shampoo and the conditioner. And I probably use like one dot. I want to say the word dollop, but I don't like the word. I don't know, because I don't like dollop, I don't like squirt. I don't know. Think of a word I can use that is not dollop and that is not squirt. Because squirt just sounds dirty and dollop is just disgusting. So please tell me. Okay, one pump. No, that sounds even dirtier. God, that's so. Ugh. Right, anyway, so I use one squeeze. Let's use this word. That sounds. Ugh. I just got a dirty mind. Like, seriously. Like, I've just got a really dirty mind. Um, well, I'm just going to use that action and, like, yeah, so one of them for each and then that brings me along to my Soap and Glory um, shampoo and conditioner. Now I used to only use the shampoo for, God I used to, I used to use this when I had brown hair, um, but I, my friend Kylie got me this ages ago before she moved house. So Kylie, if you're watching this, how long ago did you move house? So how long ago did you give me this? Um, if she does tell me, I'll post it kind of here, but god, it's like six months because she had it in a Soap and Glory um, gift suitcase thing. Um, so since then, and this is my third bottle of this. And then last month I figured out that they had the, can, the conditioner, so I haven't used the conditioner as much, but I still like it. Um, so that as well. Now I normally do one thing mixed in with the shampoo and the conditioner. So equivalently I'm using that and that together, then mix it up, then put it on my hair. Because I just find that this kind of just, this actually washes my hair, this keeps my colour in. So I use these like basically, day well I don't wash my hair daily, but I use them when I have a shower, so they get used together. And then same with the conditioners, I use them together. But what I like about the Soap and Glory, they have no build up resistance. Now I've been using the shampoo for ages, so I can say that. Um, because my hair does build up resistance to shampoos and conditioners, and I haven't needed to switch conditioners or shampoos for quite a while now. So that is great. And then this is also a new purchase. This is a Glad Hair Day Intensive Conditioner. Um, now, again, I've only been using this for a month now, but I just I just use this if I feel my hair is kind of just looking drab, kind of all stringy, kind of looking. And then this just kind of re. Ah, I think we know the word I'm looking for. Re whatever the word. Um, I'm sorry I'm all over in this video, um, 
But yeah, I really, 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 really love the smell. Like, go to your local boots or go where they sell soap and glory and just sniff this. It is the best sniffing conditioner I've ever sniffed before. I could sniff this all day. This is amazing. I love the smell. Um, next, I'll go on to, um, I basically just use one, one dry shampoo and one um, leave-in conditioner. Now the leave-in conditioner I've had since Glossy Box, so going back a couple of months. And this is being, if I'm lazy, this is the Paul Mitchell Original Leave-in Conditioner. So normally if I'm running late or I'm in a rush, um, I will just use the um, Soap and Glory um, shampoo and not mix it with my red hair with my red shampoo and then quickly wash this out and then put two um, uh, put two small amounts like like I'm just gonna show you what I mean. Like so one, two um, and then obviously my hair has to be damp with damp hands rub it in like that and then kind of go in like a circular motion like around my scalp I don't want to get anything on me right now so like that but I kind of go like that first so it gets my scalp and then as I approach kind of this bit I go in a circular motion and then I'll go down and that'll be me and then just leave it um, and then I just dry my hair as normal um, and then yeah and then if I'm being extra extra lazy it's just the Batiste red vibrant red um, dry shampoo um, I used to use the original there's nothing against original I just prefer this because it is designed for red hair I think it's got the same ingredients etc it's just red for when you dye it when you put it on, I'll squirt it into the lid so you can see. See, it's just red. Now the only thing I don't like about this is that it dyes your hands. So I would definitely use a brush with this if you're using it. Because the amount of times and it gets into these bits of your hands and it's just a pain to get out of. So if you're using this, I would suggest using a comb or a brush just to brush it through and then for straightening my hair I just use my GHGs they're just normal GHGs there's nothing special about them and then I use whatever hair dryer I can get hold of I don't have to have a special hair dryer or nothing because in all in all my hair for as much treatment as it's had for as much shit I put my, th my hair through like as many highlights, lowlights, hair dyes my hair is still in really good conditioning and condition it's still really thick it grows amazingly um, so I really don't have any quiffs about my hair I don't really have anything I don't like about my hair but yeah so I just thought with new hair I should just probably show you what I use with my hair and give a little bit of an explanation for how I use them but if you've got any other questions, um, and I forgot to also say that I love using the Spabulous brush. I cannot remember the name of it, but I shall link it down below. Um, it's just because sometimes I really don't like using the heat on my hair. Um, but this gets my hair so straight because it's got the double um, sided and just gets my hair so straight without adding any heat um, and then because you can see if I use it all then it does create a little bit of flyaway but then I just go re kind of re go over it with a just a small comb and then it's really straight and I really love it so that's another hair care product I've been using um, again I've only been using this for about a month but this has become a daily need for me basically because I rarely do use heat in my hair and so this is just a lifesaver because I'm one of them persons who likes my hair straight. Um, 
But with this new haircut, I like to have it kind of turned in a little bit. But once I had long hair, I used to just have it like roll a roller pin straight. And this definitely helped me as well. So again, um, yeah. Comment down below. And I shall see you in my next video. Bye guys.